It is I, the pumpkin. But just a moment. You always have to readjust the face with the flesh behind, because it's a little bit burnt and a bit charred. But it is I, the pumpkin, and I am here to give out my competition treats. I have nine names that managed to actually get within my competition. And for three of them, they will receive my prizes. Prizes? My prizes are plenty. There is a person called Price, and he's a bit of a twat. But I have many people down here that entered my competition, and I must tell you who they are, as that is tradition, of course. Now, of course, as well as another tradition, it has to go in a sack. The sack this week is that's entertainment. You have to try and get the entertainment when you can on this channel. But this is the satchel, the sack, the very bag that will take my names. So, the first of which, oh, Novaburg. Yes, Novaburg is known as Chris and he has lovely eyelashes. He uses a nice shader upon those eyes and I'm very, very jealous. I mean, look at me, I'm haggard. I, I just need some sort of lift upon my skin. Why, Chris, Chris knows everything. He has a lovely car, he has everything. The skin that most women would pine for. But Novaburg, you go within my bag. Oh, the second of which, Oh, why this one, he knows how to use the shampoo upon that hair. It is Dave Webster. He has a strange cat, a pussy. Oh, I hate that word. But he's got a pussy cat that seems to do the same thing as me. Maybe we're friends. Maybe we're in a book club. Club, club, I have pumpkin in my mouth. But in any case, Dave Webster, go check that chap out. He is lovely. But he goes within the bag. Okay, the next one. Oh, this is a new friend. He seemed to be some sort of emperor with a hat and sunglasses. Maybe his sunglasses shot out laser beams. Maybe he has a goat called Cedric. Maybe the Cedric goat is more powerful than him. And I am friends with Cedric. But Channel Swifts, he is a very relatively small channel and I think you should go check him out. He's very nice. And I'm going to put him in my bag. <laughs> okay, the next one. Ah, on a retro tip. This guy is called Pete Armour. Armour. Hummy, Armour. But he is a very nice chap. But the thing is, I always thought it should be on a retro trip. I don't know. But maybe he's talking about the fact he's putting in the tip of his penis into a very, very old hole. Who knows? But in any case, it goes within the bag. <laughs> Now, the next one. Oh, it's the crazy Scotsman known as JL76. He came to my patch late last night and he said, Oh, pumpkin, oh, pumpkin, oh, where art thou, uh, pumpkin? And then I said, John, stop doing the Shakespeare. I really don't like it at this time of night. But in any case, he was trying to say, Oh, I've got my upload ready, but it won't upload because the evil internet demons won't let me. But I said, Well, I am the king of pumpkins. I will allow you. You came to me like some crazy sex pest. So you go within my satchel. The next person, oh, he is a Dutch wonder. It is the Highlander. I do love Wouter and I give him many treats. Even if he doesn't win, I'll be giving him another seven versions of who wants to be a billionaire, trillionaire, millionaire. <laughs> In you go. Okay, the next one. Oh, he's got the longest name in the world. 17 ninjas and a baseball bat. I was going to try and basically put it on the biggest piece of paper you've ever seen, but his name is ridiculous and I don't play that way. Good God, man, why do you have such a long name? But you are going within the sack and I like you because you answered. And you are a villain yourself. In you go. So, the next one. Oh, this one is a relatively new one. His name is Retro Gamer Addict, as you can see upon this piece of paper. He is relatively new to me, and I don't know much about him, but I know that apparently he is like a Yorkshireman, like the other one, like Dave. But I don't know much more about him. 
But I will get to know you, sir. I will touch you inappropriately. Least expect. But you go within my ball sack. So the next and very last one. He is a wonder of the Dutch, as well like the Wouter. He is Lactobacillus Prime. Now he has many thoughts and he is a very clever man. I went once on his channel and apparently I was one of the worst videos he ever had on his channel that got thumbed down the most. Hey, I have that, you know, kind of effect on most people. So you know what? Fuck all of you that did that. Mark is a great guy. The last time I saw him, he had his trousers around his ankles and he was pissing in a nun's face. That's the best thing that you can ever expect from Mark. He's a great man. But in any case, you go with him here. So the tradition goes that I start to shake this around and I will pick three winners. The first winner gets whatever they pick. The second gets what's left. And the third, you get whatever's left. So let me shake the sack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that for too long, you'll go blind. So, let's have a look. Why, the first winner is the Nova Bug. You need to tell me what eyeshadow you use, but you're the first winner, and you get to pick whatever you please. Congratulations. So, the second winner... Mm. Oh, it's the Highlander! I had to do it like that, it just pleased me so much. You get to pick three other titles that Chris Novabug doesn't pick. Congratulations, you are my second winner. And so, the final, final person. <laughs> oh. Oh, JL76 Gaming. He came in at the last moment and he gets to win the last of the treats. So there you have it. There are my three winners. And I am wearing a Christmas top in the middle of summer. That's how crazy I am. But as Dave would normally say, comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going away for a while now because it is summer and I need to spread my pumpkin seed. But you have been watching me, the pumpkin. And I thank you for all of you entering my competition! <laughs>